say we are grand, aren't we? As you're probably aware, David Wolf is a peculiar character who's been promoting a lot of quackery in the past. And obviously when it's come down to 2020, he's been promoting a great amount of uh, pseudoscience regarding um, COVID. And fears to do with COVID, fears to do with 5G, he's said a great many things. And I found one video online where he was preaching his word. He was saying his truth, his belief. And I thought I'd respond to it point by point. How about we take all this energy that we're putting into coronavirus and put it into stop child trafficking? How about that message? So when he says child trafficking, he's referring to Epstein. He mentions that later on in this video. But um, yeah, it's like, well, there are legal actions carried out to stop child trafficking and human trafficking in general, for that matter. But there are continual investigations. I mean, what are you going to do? Right, OK, we've got all these resources, all this money going through. Let's pump through hundreds of billions into this. How would you spend that other than creating a police state? I mean, that's basically what you'd do if you pumped all that money into investigating these things. But there are also other issues going on in the world, other things that should be controlled. A highly adaptable virus is a thing that you probably should restrict. How about we put the energy into stop heart disease or cancer? 10,000 times more media presence of coronavirus in the media this year than heart disease and cancer. Uh, yeah, heart disease and cancer doesn't receive so much attention as a virus that is highly contagious and potentially could mutate into a devastating uh, effect upon humanity. It could prove to be devastating. With a few mutations, it could be potentially as bad as the Spanish flu. It's nowhere near as bad as that, although the long-term effects will linger with humanity for quite some time, as you'll imagine, with people losing their lives prematurely, not directly down to the virus, but due to the long-term effects of having the virus. And yes, yeah, sure, heart disease and cancer, they're major issues, but when do you get the figure 10,000 times? Because the news hasn't been covering on a daily basis those issues, when usually they don't anyway. You know, if there's something new, they'll mention it. If it's something worth mentioning, it will be considered to be newsworthy. Otherwise, it isn't, you know, expressed in that way, it isn't portrayed in that way, it isn't put out there in the media as much, because it's not as important on a day-to-day -day basis. The long-term effects of COVID are far more serious than merely people just having the flu once. 10,000 times more! You're more likely to die of heart disease and cancer, everybody. Why aren't you wearing a mask for that? His point about wearing a mask for heart disease or cancer, that doesn't really protect you. Also, a lot of toxins in various foods um, are an issue as well for, you know, cancer and, of course, uh, heart conditions. Uh, things in the wrong proportions, essentially. And that is a very real problem, which we can deal with. But obviously, in that regard, a mask would not be effective. What is this mask business about? It's TV-based mind control. Bill Gates wants you wearing a mask. Jeffrey Epstein and his friends want you wearing a mask. Bill Clinton wants you contact traced and wearing a mask. As far as Bill Gates, Bill Gates is simply trying to help out. He's trying to do the right thing. Unfortunately, people have jumped on it as if it proves there's some kind of grand conspiracy. Masks help to reduce the ability for you to pass on to other people and probably not so much the other way around from what research has shown. Uh, tracking helps you to know if you were in contact with someone and if you need to isolate to potentially lower risk to yourself, your family, your loved ones and work colleagues, etc. Maybe you don't care about work colleagues, well, whatever. But at least by isolating, you are gonna have some kind of uh, benefit to those people who might be at risk. Also, as far as uh, Epstein, Epstein is obviously dead. Uh, you know that, but you're just simply using it for effect. Clinton was certainly his creepy friend, Bill Clinton. I'm not a fan of Bill Clinton, used to be, until it came out about a lot of his uh, more controversial aspects, like being a very close buddy with uh, Epstein, as well as other areas of his life. Similar things you could mention about Trump and uh, several other people, actually, several celebrities who are worth noting and perhaps should be investigated very heavily. And, of course, Prince Andrew of the United Kingdom. So think about that. Wake up, folks! Justin Castro wants you wearing a mask! This guy, your prime minister, can't answer a direct question. Like, how much money is Weiss receiving 
from their fake charities. And by the way, charities are propagators of plague. Well, he jumps off the deep end, doesn't he? Full-ass conspiracy theories, uh, just general stupidity, really. It's not really worth going into, worth responding to in any great way. Uh, but I will respond to the charity point. Uh, charity is not simply about making people ill. It's not about uh, manipulating people. It's not about uh, doing harm. Unfortunately, within our society, they have to pay their bills too. If they're paying for marketing, they can't get that for free. These are corporations, non-profits, set up for charitable good. They are not trying to spread the plague, as some people have suggested. Charities are propagators of plagues. It's a scam. It's called philanthropy that is used to control your life. What is that? Communism. Uh, charity is not a tyranny, it is not about part of a tyranny, it does not relate to a shadow order, new world order, whatever you wish to call it. It also is not communism, it is corporations, and those corporations are non-profit corporations with a charitable status. That is very different from communism, if you know anything about what communism actually is. People bat around the word communism like some of us bat around the word fascism. It's not actually an argument as such, it's simply labelling. It's an easy way of saying they're horrible. A corrupt elite of rulers who operates over a socialist society. I mean, that's basically what you had with the USSR after Stalin. I mean, Stalin was just a pure tyrant. But even under him, there was a lot of corruption, obviously, amongst those people around him, those supporters, those he did not purge. And those he did, actually, until they got purged. But I digress. Um, charity is not communism. If it was communism, it would be going for the state. Because that's what socialism tends to do. It goes through the state. It would not be independent corporations who are not state-owned, who are acting as non-profit charitable organisations, would it? Bill Gates must be stopped. He wants you chipped. He wants you tracked. He wants you injected with his chemicals. We're not going to take it, Bill Gates. We're not taking it. And in fact, we're going to arrest you for crimes against humanity. Bill Gates is trying to do the right thing in a difficult situation. He is not trying to rule the world. He is not acting on behalf of some kind of shadow order. Well, you may well believe that now I've said it. Um, Bill Gates is basically trying to ensure that the most needy and very often the poorest end up being treated fairly. Say Africa, say the third world in general, say if we focus on them and we should not leave them until everyone in the developed world is vaccinated and then say, let's go and help out Africa and say, oh, they've suffered really bad. Yeah, because they've been waiting for a fucking vaccine. So Bill Gates is trying to do the right thing, I believe. What David Wolfe is doing is basically vacating to his usual audience, conspiracy nuts who fear any number of things, including vaccines, extending that to a ridiculous degree. With major conditions, you need modern medical science, not woo-woo, to try and help people. You need genuine support for real world issues, not simply David Wolf trying to plug his new product. Get a reindeer antler. Yes, it's on special offer. It's doubled in price from last year. Uh, it's, it's on special offer. But uh, yeah, it will raise your energies, which makes you immune. And don't take the vaccine, because apparently all vaccines are bad. What I will say is that David Wolf is not an authority. He's not a medical expert. He's barely a health expert, considering some of his advice is just completely nonsensical. I've been swimming in raw sewage. I love it. <laughs>